All right, so here today we do got some fun stuff to talk about. So I make this video every single time. Go back on my channel. I made it for Endeavor. I made it for Strike Deco. I made it for Aizawa. It is sad to think about how many times I made this video in that much time frame because it's so less than I expected. <laughs> I was so underwhelming. We don't even have that many character releases, so when we get one, it's a big thing. Today, we're going to talk about some stuff here, and I want to let you know of things to know before basically going and summoning for twice, or at least things to know before his release, along with the mid-season update. Today, we're going to jump into it. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe helps out a ton. Please listen to every point, as it might kind of, you know, include something you're doing. So just keep this in mind, all right? Let's hop into it. First things first, let me make something clear over here. With this character, as I say with every damn character that releases, before you go and summon, and summon 2,000 or whatever summon amount you're going in this banner, please consider if you even like the character's playstyle. You have to realize this. I have never in my life seen this, but it happens every single time. Like, people will, like, and, and it keeps happening, right? In the first time when I made a video for, for Aizawa, I said it, right? Players said, okay, sure. The day after, players were like, dude, I hate this playstyle. I can't believe I summoned for this. I wasted 2,000 summons. It's like, bro, I told you. Just try your best to understand his playstyle. See it first. Test him in training, correct? Because it's the only place where you don't use a rental ticket. Go into training, play with the AI, see what happens, see how you can do. If you're missing shots consistently, you're not able to do anything consistently. Uh, consistently you don't like how his money mutation is formed you don't like any of that then don't go for the character right try him out see how he is in training the saddest thing is and this point in this video is always there in my last three videos you can go and check this point always stands but now they've changed it they've ruined everything remember you used to be able to rent a character three times a day three times a day every eight hours you get a brand new rental ticket that is how it operated now, when a new character releases, that character will cost you three rental tickets up front because it is a brand spanking new character. With that logic being put in place, what does that mean for you? That means that if you, 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 anyone here goes to, you know, rent uh, twice today and they play one match, it is over. You cannot rent twice for the next 24 hours. That is how it's going to go. One of the worst changes ever because day one, you want to see if you like the character. It's, it's testing phase. You want to see, do I like him? Do I not like him? What the fudge is the point of changing it? I'm so lost, right? Now, let's say, let's just say both your uh, squad mates die off spawn, they quit out, you lag out, or any of that things happen, you lost your rental tickets, and now you can't test out twice for 24 hours. And let's say in 24 hours, you die off spawn. You can't test them for 48 hours. One of the stupidest changes I have ever seen, but the limit of what I'll tell you is, you at least have one rental ticket, or one try at the character. See if you like his playstyle. Remember, Aizawa wasn't everyone's playstyle. Everyone, like, in my community summoned and then said, you know what? Not my character. Some did. Some loved him, right? But some just didn't like him. So please test the character right before going for it. Endeavor, same thing. Strike Deku, same thing. Though, again, you can't rent Strike Deku, which sucks, but you can rent this character. Keep that in mind. Second point. If you are considering, like, looking around and uh, saving character tickets, uh, remember, a character officially should be added to the character ticket roster. That being either Kirishima or Momo. Apparently, Leaker said it was Momo who would be added uh, to the character ticket. So remember, just make sure to save a character ticket while you're summoning. Make sure to save a character ticket before or after. Just do whatever. If you're if you're thinking about, you know what, should I cop that Ida? But wait, I might like Momo or Kirishima more. Again, I don't have like the most credible leak on that. So I'm not going to say that it is Momo because again, I don't know too much there. Um, when I see credible leaks, I'll let you know. But here, I didn't see many leakers confirming it um, beyond the realm of the ones that I know correct so as of right now what i will stand it and say is this if you like momo kirishima and you have a character ticket don't use it until you check who got added i think it's momo but we'll see all right so that's there also a character ticket should be now revamped and we should have a new one on there and then when what is it aizawa Wait, no no when the next character releases which we think is all for one which you know right that's going to be the next character, which is Kirishima. <laughs> you see how bad the schedule is? It's dog crap. So, that's there. Next up, next point. Let's go to this one. So, yes, I tell everyone, before you summon, try to make sure you have 2,000 summons. In this case, most of the community doesn't have 2,000 summons. And you want to know why? People, again, I got so much hate in my original video when I mentioned this. The premium login doesn't exist anymore, correct? It's been so hard for me to gain summons over the course of the last few weeks. It has been torturous. It's been the worst experience ever in this game. And I hope that everyone understands it now and sees it firsthand that, yes, we need it back. We need it back ASAP. So, again, I'm hoping that this update brings it to you. I was going to have this as a talking point being, yeah, you know, use 2,000 summons if you have it. Don't try to summon before it. But I can't even give that advice. People love twice. But guess what? Because the last four weeks, which people use as a saving period, 
wasn't even that much good where they removed you have to realize they removed in the last four weeks 300 tickets right it's 28 days since we had the launch of the season that's 10 times 28 that's 280 tickets basically 300 almost right so basically 300 tickets were lost out because they removed the premium login okay so you have to realize that yes they gave us the 100 million uh, or the 10 million uh free gift which was 100 summons so you cut that down to 200 but if you had the login and you got the gift that's 400 tickets that was a very generous game now it's changed to a very crappy game so as of right now no premium login so my point doesn't stand here saying like you should have 2000 summons if you want to summon just remember the risk involved you're putting summons into an empty banner which you probably won't hit pity on the only way that you'll hit pity on it remember that is around you have you have to be have to be 1700 like bare minimum then maybe you can hit pity right this banner will last for how long good question that's the thing that i should have wrote down because i'm not smart i'm going to check now but remember it's not strike deku it's not it's 100 not strike deku we, we've seen that um so remember when it comes down to it you have to be able to afford it it's going to be probably three weeks correct three weeks of a, of a banner um or two weeks correct so remember that don't go in like oh my god strike deku time we're gonna have six weeks twice that's it that's what i'm looking for it's, it's not gonna be like that uh, this banner will last until so it will last until 28th 6th so yeah two week banner look at that yeah only strike deck was the six week banner wow 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 yep the sixth <laughs> damn i thought they would uh maybe make this a little longer nope only skill sets are longer not characters so yeah character role is only going to be there to the sixth so you only got two weeks to amass pity are you going to be able to amass pity in two weeks probably no I, ch I changed my mind actually i thought it was three weeks no so you need in order to amass pity probably like 1850 you need that many summons that's how many you need right now um and then you, maybe you'll hit pity because i'm guessing 150 you might gain uh from whatever content and whatnot uh, which is also very low right you're not gonna gain 150 correct you get five a day and then per week like 50 so remember that right five times seven plus the 50 on top is not much bro it's not much uh, so that's where you currently stand there all right good good next talking point let's just keep going second or third fourth whatever we're on he might be buggy as hell keep this in mind if you play as him see how he is maybe you don't even like his play style again he might be buggy he might not even operate well he might be annoying to you know kind of handle he might not have any of his like testing there so please just realize that don't invest into a character that you're not going to play as for the next four weeks because again you know there's a lot happening soon that brings me right into my next point the next banners are pretty nuts realize that it's it's pretty nuts basically where we stand is the end of march is a new skill kit the middle of march is a new character the end the keep this in mind wait 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 i lied yeah no no, no i'm right okay ready for this here we go i'm gonna blow your mind in two seconds i'm gonna blow your freaking mind so at the end of march is so right now let me, let me restart 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 at the end of february is a banner launch for a character at the end of march so end of february character end of march skill kit it's gonna be shigaraki remember that skill kit for shigaraki is launching at the end of march now at the middle the middle okay like not even middle early early april you're getting all for one remember that you're getting a character brand new character now after that after that literally at the end at the end of april you're getting a skill kit so you're getting three things within the the course of what 30 days correct like yeah, yeah within the course of 30 days you're getting a skill kit a character a skill kit right bakugo shigaraki skill kits all for one character remember that you have to remember that it is an accelerated schedule here and you have to realize that if they don't kick up a premium login everyone's gonna be raging i'm lost here on how anyone's gonna make it for that like if they left the premium login active or at least they increase it to like 150 now uh or rather like 15 i'm trying to say right per day you are screwed <laughs> there is no way dude you're you you have to skip half of that uh because remember you you need 2000 summons yeah and getting that is impossible without a login with a login it's tolerable but with the accelerated schedule they're going for which is good if they just increase the summons but you know we're at a place here where they've decreased the summons versus increasing so we're in a bad area already but as of right now that's what you have to know remember it's a very sped up schedule very sped up schedule very soon in march and april basically the the, the end of april you have so much happening so much right so within 30 days you're getting shigaraki all for one and bakugo um again two skill kits one character that's nuts that's insanity uh so remember if you don't like twice maybe you like shigaraki maybe you like uh, bakugo maybe you like um all for one remember for bakugo and shigaraki both banners last 30 days so it's more guaranteed you can actually pull them uh maybe you want to just go and you know bet your luck when you uh when all for one releases and pull for twice then because guess what yeah you have a chance to uh get him on that banner because he exists and you're stumbling on that banner and you have a chance to get his costumes and all that stuff remember that also 
Um, and maybe you can amass pity then. So you pull twice early, you pity all for one. Could be a nice little thing you do there. But again, I don't know. Who am I? I'm just giving advice here. Do what you want. See what happens. Uh, currently on my account, I think I'm like 1,600, 1,700 summons now. Um, but I, I didn't hit pity. I'm, I'm not going to hit pity, most likely. Unless they kick up a login, which I'm hoping. I have hoped. I've literally just been hoping for every video now. They do it because, again, this game needs it. You have to realize that. All right? Take care. Have fun. Those are all the points that I want to give you. Uh, just so you are aware. Again, I'll quickly just breeze through them as I have them here. Tickets barely exist. Make sure you have pity. But again, I can't say that because clearly it, tickets haven't been given to us. So if you want someone just because you like him, 600, 700, 1,000, 2,000, or 1,500, whatever it is, good luck and best of luck. Yeah, that's all I can say. Try out the character. But again, we know rental tickets. Can't tell you that. You have one try. Test him out of training first. See if you like him. Hit him up in the game. See if you can get anything done. If you don't die of spawn or anything and you like him, keep him. Go for him then. He might be buggy as hell, so keep that in mind. Upcoming uh, banners are nuts, and they're speeding everything up. So remember all those points, okay? Remember all those points going into this banner. That's it. Take care. Peace out. Yeah.